welcome back folks we're out on this trolley line today willie and i we got our big line we need to go check but we're back down here on this trolley line i'm gonna come down here to the end and check this foothold that i readjusted yesterday with my son just make sure nothing's in that and then we got to get to looking and see if we can find that that trap that got broke off and hopefully there's a critter in it that's just laying there waiting for us to get find it otherwise i don't know my wife actually asked me if, if it's possible because there's a trail behind us here that goes up the mountain it's now accessible um it's now accessible since that trap's still sitting there uh people will start hiking in the spring and all that to go up the mountain there and, and uh she's like is it possible that somebody saw it and didn't like it and took it and i said well it, i guess it's possible anything's possible but it more looked like to me yesterday that an animal had gotten into it or something uh but of course there wasn't any tracks it's a sandy river right here not really much for mud so i don't know i guess we'll see in a few minutes here but trying to make my way back to Willie down here now see if we can start doing a grid search on this thing it's so deep even with the water down it's like it's like freaking anywhere from 12 to 15 foot deep in the middle like I said it's an old trolley line so uh should be interesting um we'll be back with you all right everybody fishing escapade is now over ended up finding it I actually found it by accident, almost broke my neck, and I put the pole down to balance myself before I went into the drink, and I ended up hitting the body of the beaver. So, uh, I told you, good, bad, or ugly, I'd let you guys know what we found or didn't find, and there's our beaver. Beautiful catch right out of the back of the head, just like you want. However, you can see my chain uh, there's my swivel try and do this one handed I'm sorry and if you look on this end that is my cable that is my d-ring always always and I'm gonna call myself out on this and you guys can get after me all you want everybody makes mistakes we're human I had this set up on a swivel and an a and a cable already i was talking about switching everything over because i was tired of losing traps i lost this trap because of my own fault my own stupidity and it wasn't so much that we were in a hurry setting we got this trap set and i never hooked it off i wrapped it around where i was gonna right here on that there's a log down in there i wrapped it around that log and never took the two seconds to clip it because I had to readjust the trap real quick. Always go back through before you walk away from your trap sets. Double check that you have actually anchored and everything is solid and good to go. Take the two seconds it takes to double check your sets and make sure they're good to go. Otherwise, you're going to be doing crap like this and trying to dig down in 15 feet of water and dig a animal out if you even find it because that water right there is cranking whether you it doesn't look like it on the top but when you stick that pole down in there to try to reach down in there all the way to the bottom that that water is cranking down through there so we're lucky enough to, to find this we found the trap we found the beaver makes me feel better i ended up putting a few holes in it with the uh the hook well, I'd rather put a few holes in it and drop the value of the hide down some than to lose the entire setup. So there you go. There's the lesson of the day. Make sure you take the time to make sure your crap is set properly. Otherwise, you're going to have nothing but problems. I'm glad that this is something that was my own fault and not somebody else. But at the same time, you know, I really wish that I'd taken that extra two seconds just to double check everything. Anyway, 
We'll be back. All right, everybody. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time about the wind. The wind's starting to pick up again. And I got the highway behind me. So uh, we came down to the property that we landmined. We're all the way down to the last trap first. Nothing in it. It was about out of the water, so we reset. Uh, you can see some of the workings around over here on this farm. But Willie's down there at the next trap. Nothing there. Resetting that one. It was partway out of the water. We're going to move on down the line. We know we got a couple because we saw where our traps were missing. We don't know if they're big, small, or what, but we'll check. Anyway, we'll be back. Now, we're not doing too good on this landmine property so far. This is trap number four so far. Out of the water. You might want to come over on this side, Willie. Just clear a spot out right there. I got that. We got that thing in there. We can move it over. I'd put it right in here. Be better. But anyway, water's dropped on us a lot. It was way up here. Now it's way down there. It's probably six or eight inches eight inches probably i'd say it dropped so we're readjusting as we go i don't know if the water is going to come up or not we uh we still got a chance of some snow and stuff but um it's supposed to be pretty chilly for the next few days so i don't know i don't think it'll rise but maybe you never can tell but you're better to err on the side of caution and have it too far in the water than too far out because then you're out of out of compliance and you can get ticketed and this is a, a right away trail for the farmers but it's also the bass trail for the snowmobile so people traveling this and walking it or whatever else um, you definitely don't want to take a chance on being out of out of compliance so Willie's gonna reset that one and then we're gonna move up the line so four so far out of what 16 yeah like i said we know we got more up that way we don't know what size they are but some of the traps were gone so we know that they're uh we probably have something or maybe some missiles. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But anyway, 0 for 4 so far on this end. We'll get this one reset and, uh, and we'll be back. Well, everybody, we're still out here. We're on trap number 8 and 9. You can see number 8 over there. Doesn't have nothing in it. Still set. We're going to juice her back up. Number 9. I had my camera on. I don't know. For some reason after after hunting season, I'm having all kinds of problems with these cameras not working right or something. We got a catch here. It's a small beaver by the looks of it. See our caster mount was right there. Trap was down in here. Beaver's right there. Should have been on camera. But again, I wanted to try to use the footage so that people can see how they work these sets. Um, but unfortunately, technical difficulties whatever you want to call it i cannot get these cameras to freaking do what they need to do uh hopefully the i've got a camera set on another trap down there hopefully hopefully that one's got something on it i don't know we'll see but pull this guy up see if i can do this one-handed well he's still down uh resetting another trap down there get this stuff cleaned out of here a little bit so i can reset here in a minute Thing about rivers you always got debris floating into your you always got debris floating up into your sets and your setbacks so you got to get stuff out of your way sometimes but anyway pull the stake up out if i can come on she was down in there definitely wasn't going anywhere yeah i got her buried in the bottom that weren't going anywhere and yeah looks like a small beaver get him up here yep so we got a kit 
in uh, front foot and that big old double long spring. So we'll get that reset and move on down the line. We'll be right back. Well, got my camera here. We got the caster mount, the traps gone. Getting ready to see what we got. <laughs> Went to check the card. Camera's on. Well, no card in it. We're we are just. I'm glad we're better at catching beaver than we are at setting cameras. So, here I'll hand you over to him. Start the snow. Start to spit snow on us again, like they said it was probably gonna. But hopefully, we actually have something here, and it's not just a miss. Sucks at that camera. I can't believe that. We're having a really hard time getting Good catches video. on camera. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you. Yeah, we're not, we're not having a good time getting videos. I said, so, so we're, we're, not, we're not having a great time getting videos. Oh, all kinds of just problems. The wind messing with cameras, and, and then if the wind's not messing with it, we're making mistakes. Yep. Yes. Well, there you have it. We're having that's how our day is going so far. We got that one kit, and uh, we got a miss here. We got more traps down that way, but I'm not real hopeful at the moment, so we'll see. We'll be back. Well, we got one here. I don't remember, it almost looks like a no, it is a bigger beaver. Look like a kit down in the water. That's a good beaver. Yeah. That makes up for all the misses today. Yeah. That kind of sucks that we missed that many beaver. But cool. So that's uh two beaver so far today. So we'll get him out of there and get this reset. Oh, you guys can see that uh, it's hard to see in the camera. This where it's all clear right there on the other side of the river. That actually drops off straight down. It's like a cliff edge in there. And that's probably 12 or 14 feet of water right there. So yeah, it's, I mean, it goes to show you, it's hard to trap in some of this stuff. But if you do find narrow runs, they're so freaking deep that it's almost impossible to set. But anyway, done complaining. We're, uh, we're catching something anyways, even though it's we landmine this place. We've had three three set off traps and two catches. So five trap snap total so far. Not very good odds out of a dozen or so traps that we've got on this property. Lined it. Anyway, be back. Well, we're home. As you guys can see. Technically a three beaver day, even though we know that guy there was caught yesterday. We had to fish him out. We found him. That was good. A kit. Another good one here. So three beaver for today. That's what we got. Got a bunch of stuff reset because we had traps set off. And uh, we'll see what we come up with on the next check. But appreciate everybody being here. Thank you again for your support. And... Uh, you guys are learning something from us even if it's to not not pick up bad habits and not rush and double check yourself and all that so uh yeah thanks for watching guys